It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Everything is it's Tech Tuesday. I had just enough time to fit in writing this since I was playing Fallout 3 all weekend because I'm so dedicated. Number five, Apple has a strange addiction to making new standards that, well, aren't standard at all. Their newest stab is at video formats. In the newest iMovie update, there is a mention for increased support for iFrame video. This iFrame format is obviously an Apple exclusive, seeing as a little i. It's designed to import and store footage in a new resolution so that it's faster to transfer and edit. Right now, iFrame is only supported by two cameras and we have yet to see if any others adopt. It's not totally clear how or if this affects overall quality or if it really speeds up editing in any noticeable way. Especially since if you're using iMovie, you're most likely slow because you're an amateur or spending hours finding commands that are easily accessed in Final Cut. Number four. Acer is attempting to blur the lines between computer and smartphone even more with the new Acer One netbook. Set to release in November, the One has dual boot capabilities. For those of you who don't know what boot means, let alone dual boot, this means that when starting up you have the option of running Windows XP or Android. Android is Google's challenge to the iPhone OS and Palm's web OS, but is not an exclusive to certain devices. So you can run a light OS that won't drain battery or be overkill for fast web surfing or email with Android and then switch over to XP for running bigger apps. Another best of both worlds deal. If they can put Android in a netbook, I want to see it in my microwave and coffee pot in like a year. Number three, the light apps found in great abundance in the iPhone app store are one of the next items to be taken out to the backyard and shot. Metaphorically, of course. The iPhone 3.0 OS allowed for in-app purchases, much like the DLC in console games. However, until recently, this function was restricted to only pay apps to avoid people making free apps that then trick users into subscriptions or extra costs. I say until recently because that restriction has been eliminated. Now any app can contain features that must be paid for after the original purchase. That means the light games that were once separate from the paid versions may be stuck into one app so you get some features for free and then are prompted to upgrade to the full version. Is there any way this can be working with the iPod hardware? Like I get a free touch and then if I want to I can upgrade to a version that has a little internal speaker later on? Number two, the JVC Pisco makes me want to start my Christmas list early. It shoots at nearly 1080p to flash memory much like the Flip HD and the Kodak ZI series. The Pisco shoots in 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or standard def VGA and takes 8 megapixel stills, all accessible directly to your TV via HDMI out. It will be about 200 bucks right in line with the other mini cams available and also features this sparkly front design thing, so everyone knows you are filming them and that you don't care about looking silly. Number 1. There's all sorts of Olympic drama going on lately and I plan to add to it. Well, not me specifically, but I'll talk about people who are. The Vancouver 2010 Winter Games will be giving out circuit board medals. No, they won't have internal chips hanging from their necks, but the metal used to make the medals will be forged from reclaimed gold, silver, and bronze from circuit boards. It's aimed to fall in line with the green movement, since global warming really puts a downer on the Winter Games. Sad, muddy games, flooded because of iceberg melt games, they just don't have the same ring to them. Of course, expect purists to complain that they aren't real pure gold and it's going to somehow destroy the foundation of the Olympic Games. But I'm more focused on the fact that there is enough gold in circuit boards to make metals. Start collecting those junk electronics to melt them down and make money to buy more electronics. It's the perfect system. I'd like to make myself... That's all for this week. Check out Tech Tuesday on YouTube at youtube.com slash Tech Tuesday and the Tech Tuesday Facebook page. I would say see you next week, but cameras only work one way. So you'll see me next week and I'll see a teleprompter. Finally, this is the Tech Tuesday special report. My favorite hoodie, a black and gray striped one, went missing on Friday. If you see it, bring it to the TV studio. If it's on a person, take all necessary measures to secure it. You have your mission. And break.